Coming at us out of nowhere is our first look at Marvel's 1983 Rise of Hydra video game, which was previously just known as a Black Panther and the Howling Commandos video game. It's been very quiet on this front in relation to this video game. We didn't really know what was going on. There's, of course, been plenty of worries with video games getting dropped all over the place, especially ones with licenses attached to them. This game is, of course, coming at us from Skydance and Amy Henning. Now, Amy Henning was instrumental in bringing forth the Uncharted series and The Last of Us before she left, and she's worked on a couple of canceled games. So getting our first glimpse here at this Captain America, Black Panther, and the Commandos World War II game, Running in the Unreal Engine is pretty awesome. Now, I should state that this is obviously a cutscene or pre-rendered and not actual gameplay as far as we know. But what we're getting here is sort of the world, the vibe, the setting, the tone. And what we're seeing here is very true to World War II, the battles that were happening, and of course it's infused with the Marvel Comics flavor. Now, Black Panther and Cap here very much remind me of, like, off Marvel Studios versions, and that's gotta be intentional, right? Like, you want people to sort of draw comparison to it with many stylistic designs and things, but obviously put your own spin on it. We see that here. I think it's fine. We also got the release date for this, which is slated... For 2025 so we're not gonna have to wait long it's obviously further in development than most people thought at this point point. and i don't know if it's just maybe me looking at this and thinking outside the box but i get the sense that this isn't gonna be like a giant completely open world i think this is gonna i don't know gives me almost like a adventure game vibes where you're gonna be solving some puzzles doing a metroidvania arkham style hey you unlock this now get back to this place and do this and you're gonna be playing as both cap and panther that's the vibe i get here and it definitely seems to be pitting both of them against each other but obviously they're gonna come together after the first meeting and uncover this hydra plot so there's a lot of moving pieces here that really get me intrigued um obviously cap you know my favorite in the Avengers, one of my favorite Marvel characters, I'm all here for this. Dealing with Hydra, more than likely the Red Skull, who we don't see here. Again, my favorite Marvel villain. So this game seems to be like tailor-made for me. I just hope that when we see the gameplay, it looks on point. And seeing how Amy Henning is on this, I'm expecting a more linear style, uncharted, Last of Us 1 style game, which is fine by me.